um, today we're going to be talking about my flickering fluorescent light fixture because um, I've been getting a ton of comments uh, from YouTube and um, I'm not sure if you've heard of it. It's, uh, it's Halloween Forum. It's a great online site and you can join them for free and it's um it's a great place to uh show people all the great work people you've done or uh just talk about Halloween or ask questions anything find out how to build stuff and they have great ideas and um all the people are nice on there it's great i have a whole bunch of friends on there so right now the whole project starts out with a standard 16 gauge or whatever extension cord you have pretty much um, I would recommend nothing less than 16 gauge um, right now it's 16 gauge uh, three three plug cord uh, standard uh, two prong extension cord that goes from this is the po um, power end of it and right now I have a small two-prong plug on the end of one of those um, construction sockets that they sell. They're like two, three, maybe five bucks depending on where you buy it. Um, I bought mine at Home Depot so it's pretty much universal. Um, they are rubber so they're pretty much impact resistant so if you drop them they don't crack like a porcelain one. <laughs> I've done that. I've broken a porcelain one. They're not very easy to hold and also they're pretty expensive. They're like six bucks I think for a porcelain one. Um, then from there it goes through an adapter that changes the um, threaded socket into the um, the two prong plug but in between the construction socket and this thing is a little disc it's called a flasher disc and the flasher disc is the whole thing that makes everything work and uh, it's not very thick so it fits right in between that and the socket in there and it makes it flash uh, I think it's like um, like 16 or something uh, uh, flashes per minute or so like that. I don't, I'm not really sure what it says on the package. Uh, I guess it depends on the wattage because um, the more current you flow through it, the flash faster it flashes, but uh, the hotter it gets too. So be careful when you, uh, if you've been running the light for a long period of time don't touch the metal contacts on here because they are hot uh, I haven't been running this one yet so it's not hot right now but then you thread it in like that like so make sure it's nice and snug but not too tight because you can crack them uh, but you want to make good contact so it's not loose and short out and burn up and then what you do is you plug this into the two prong socket and it's not going to turn on until you send power through it so right now I have a splitter that's uh, three three plugs on the block that plugs into like this and then there's a incandescent light bulb that uh, happens to be blue you can use pretty much any 25 watt 25 watt uh, incandescent light bulb and um, you don't have to have it in the same location as the fluorescent light uh, if you just use one of those uh, standard 16 gauge 2 prong uh, outlets with the uh, cord on the end of it you can just plug the lamp or whatever it is into the splitter and then run the lamp somewhere else but right now I just have it for the video I have it just plugged in directly that just doesn't work okay um, right now 
the incandescent light bulbs flashing, but not the fluorescent because I don't have it plugged in. And you can see it on and off, on and off, on and off. And then what I do is I have the fluorescent light fixture cord plugs into a small little ground prong adapter uh, because I do not recommend cutting off the ground prong because it's a uh, safety hazard so what I do is so that if you want to ever use the light fixture for something else you just buy one of those adapters you plug it in like that and it fits in to the socket and immediately or so somewhere around there the light should come on within about uh, five to ten seconds depending on how you build yours uh, right now mine came on within three seconds or so and there's a light flickering on and off and right now it's random on and off one bulb comes on and one bulb comes on and then the other one comes on and then sometimes both come on and um, right now I'm using a T12 40 watt um, 240 watt light bulbs with a uh, magnetic ballast shop light and the magnetic ballast shop light you can buy at Lowe's or pretty much anywhere uh, you better hurry uh, because I heard in a couple of years or so soon they're going to be uh, changing everything from the T12s to the T8s and they're more energy efficient but you won't be able to get a magnetic ballast anytime after that Hope, um, hopefully you'll still be able to but you never know the government is always strict with that um, so I was lucky to get a magnetic ballast and that's pretty much the only one you can use if you want it to be random um, but you can use an electronic ballast with the T new T8s um, but it will just be on or off on or off um, and it's a little bit boring so I like the random because it makes it look like the bolt the fixture is really creepy and looks it like it's in a haunted house so it do it goes good um, I got uh, my bulbs are green and the reason the way I got them green is I uh, spray painted them with um, a can a couple of cans of uh, uh, window tint from a hobby store it's uh, for uh, model cars and I got the green version and uh, it's like five bucks a can for a can about that big so it's not very uh, economical to buy that size of a can so um, I found a couple of cans of red or and blue um, it's called glass tint at, uh, I think it was like AC Moore or Michaels. I'm not really sure exactly. So maybe it was Target. I'm not really sure exactly. Um, and you spray it on glass and it tints it. So it's really cool. And you can use that. And then what you do is you spray it onto the, uh, plastic clear, um, bulb protectors and the bulb protectors make it so that you don't damage the bulb in any way um, and you just slide the color t tube over the bulb and it works great and then I also spray painted the fixture itself because it was white and I didn't like the white so I spray painted it green with uh, black speckles all over it so um, pretty much that's all Think. So, if you have any questions, or if you want to uh, send me a message or anything, just to say thanks for a great video, you know, um, feel free to. I'm open to pretty much anything, as long as it's not negative about my projects. And, um, if you're on Halloween Forum, then send me a message. Um, or if you're on YouTube, send me a message and please rate the video and uh, comment. Thank you.